Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you my high school, and this high school is called Cherry Hill High School West. It's for grades 9 through 12. And as you see here, this high school is really, really big, and we have a lot to tour today. So without further ado, let's get started with the tour. Uh, so over here is the front of the school, basically the front parking lot, parking lot, I mean. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, just um, ordinary parking lot, I guess. Here's the main entrance. And I do want to point out that the main entrance has been renovated quite recently, so they added this new sunroof up here, and they um, changed, they, they fixed up the walkway here. I'm not sure exactly how it looks inside, but I'm assuming this is how it looks. I mean, I won't know how it looks until September when I return back to school. But I have a few, th few signs. Welcome to Cherry Hill West, established 1956. And yeah, that's when my school was. That's the first year of high school. It's pretty old. Here's the main office. So this is basically where um, you would get checked in if you were to be a visitor of the school or if you were to be a student who is late for school. Pretty cool. And here is the auditorium, uh, mostly known as the theater or the old auditorium because there's a newer and better auditorium in this school, which I'll show you a little later on. Um, so this is the original auditorium. Um, not really much about this, just an ordinary um, place. And here is here are the guidance offices. So uh, this is basically where you would go when you need assistance. This is the check-in area. Um, so this is where they would check you in. And all these other rooms are just ordinary offices and conference rooms. If you go this way, um, you'll be taken to A Wing. But we're not gonna go this way yet. Uh, we're actually gonna go the other way and take a big loop around the school which includes A-Wings, so don't worry guys, I will show that to you in a little bit. Um, that's the main office, We I show that to you. Uh, yeah, just a few other offices, the principal's office, and the attendance office. This is basically where um, student attendance is manage, managed. Here's the gym, mainly Walsh gym. Um, there are two gyms in the school, Walsh and Jones. Jones Gym is the main gym. It's the most used gym in the school. It's on the far right, so I'll show that to you towards the end of the video. So you've got some basketball courts, just like any other gym. I won't, I won't go into much detail with that, because you know what I'm, you know what I have. Um, so this section of the school, this little area, I have a few things to show you. This room, this little corridor. Um, it's like an art gallery, so this is where um, paintings and art would be stored up on this wall. And I put some paintings. And if you've been wondering why um, these paintings look different, it's because I'm using a different texture pack. It's a Clarity texture pack. I'll show you. So this is what I'm using right now. Um, I really, I really enjoy using this texture pack. Um, I've been using it lately. And I'm really enjoyed. I don't think I'm going back to the original texture pack. But anyway, so here's broadcasting. So this class teaches you how to use a camera and do filmmaking. And from what I know, broadcasting class runs West Main YouTube channel. Um, I'll have the link in the description. Um, I watched some of their videos. They're pretty cool. Um, basically, videos about West and all that kind of stuff. West Report. And this is. Um, TV studios. I mean, I'm not really sure what's the different between the difference between the two classrooms, but it's it's there, so I just include it. Um, this is like a printing room, so basically this is where um, teachers can go to get paper or stuff, you know. Um, across the hall, we have the library. So it's pretty cool looking. It's actually a newer part of the school, which is why we have this little zigzag window design. And we have computers along the wall here. A checkout, check-in area, or checkout, I think, yeah. 
checkout area, some tables, and some bookshelves. Store all the books. And just some rooms back here as well. Um, so now we're um, heading to D-Wing. So now we're in D-Wing. Um, again, these are just some classrooms. You have some science labs here. Um, this level is a combination of regular classes and science labs. Let me show you. So a few of them are regular classrooms like this one. And the, and the other ones are science labs like that one. Um, in each science class, or almost every science class in the school, um, have brewing stands to do science experiments. Over here is the intersection. And to be honest with you guys, it's the most crowded part of the school during transition periods because, you know, students are going in all four directions. And this is why you do not want to be stopping or standing. That's pretty dumb to be stopping or standing in the middle of the hallway. Hopefully you guys... Um, aren't like that and just stop on the side um, not blocking everyone's way but anyway this is the elevator um, we're gonna go upstairs here to upper D wing um, these are just freshman classes here nothing special except these are just freshman classes um, over here we have computer science um, this is the only class which is not freshman um, I guess, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's open to all grades besides freshmen, so, so this is what would be a non-freshman class, would be computer science slash programming, we have a lot of computers here, it's a pretty big room, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, here's math storage, this is where, back here is where they would store math stuff, I didn't put anything here, but oh well, and in every one of my classrooms I have an American flag, using a banner. Um, we're actually going to go this way. Uh, okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the lunchroom, which is over there, slash the cafeteria. Um, it's, the, it's like a student dining area during lunch, so we're going to go down this breezeway real quick. So yeah, we have a pretty big cafeteria, and this is what I mean. So this cafeteria is enormous. It stretches out almost this entire hallway, or a, a big majority of this hallway, um, and it's the main eating area for students. And here we have a kitchen and a lunch line for students to get their lunches. And over here we have a school store where you can get West clothing. So all that's pretty cool. And there's the window, and over there's D-Wing, that's where we were, we went down the stairwell, over there. So that's how it looks from the cafeteria, if you were to be in real life. Alright. So this door leads you to the courtyard, the, the courtyard, like the eating area, like the outdoor eating space for students. Um... This courtyard, so this courtyard here is only open if the weather's nice. You, you know, you're not really allowed to go outside to the courtyard um, if it's raining or it's snowing or it's really cold. It's only open if the weather is good enough. FYI. So that's the cafeteria and, and the courtyard. Um, so now I'm going to show you... So now we're getting closer to A-Wing. Now this is just another hallway that leads to the front of the school. Um, this hallway, in fact, sits between Walsh Gym and the theater slash old auditorium. So, so yeah, this is where we were before. And yeah, so uh, this is just another door to the theater. Here's the band room. So this is, there, so this is where band rehearsals are held. So pretty cool. Um, C-Wing, we just have some classrooms. In fact, there's actually special ed classes. There's only like three of them. Alright, so now we're at, we arrive at A-Wing. And yes, yeah, so A-Wing is um, the part of the school where most of your elective classes take place. Elective meaning, you know, um, extra classes. I'll, I'll, I'll provide some examples. So, um, this is not a classroom. This is actually a 
little grocery store, not grocery store, like a food store. It's called Shop West. And Shop West is basically what I said before, a grocery store, a food store, where students can get food. I didn't, oh, look, I put some, <laughs> I put some food in there. I'm going to drink a honey bottle. Ha, <laughs> lol. Okay, anyway, but this is like a food store where students can get food and snacks. So I view that as a pretty cool thing. And the rest of A-Wing, so this is 3D art. Um, this classroom is Phototech, and this is 2D art. And this is, uh, yeah, this is 2D art. And this door, this, this door, the side door leads you out to the bus loading area and some more parking spaces out here. So we're at the far left of the school now. So yeah, it's a bus loading area. I put large arrows to indicate it, so, you know. Here's ROTC. I don't really know much about this class. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what this class is all about, because I kind of want to know. Uh, yeah, this is just another. This is the same classroom, just another door. I mean, some of these large classrooms have two doors. And, yeah. Uh, this, this classroom uh, is sustainable design slash computer graphics and and I actually took computer graphics this year uh, I had computer graphics and in computer graphics we learned how to use blender 3d design stuff and for a little bit we learned how to use Photoshop and then school clothes and then we use SketchUp so it's basically the 3d designing class and over here I put a, um, a pixelated version of the real-life auditorium in the school, I actually got it from the um, internet, and this would be like a laser cutter slash 3D printer. I think somewhere, yeah, this classroom has a 3D printer. Um, and across the hall is woodwork shop slash applied technologies. I think, yeah, uh, from what I know, woodwork shop um, is held here, so they basically do like wood building. It's a pretty cool class. Um, actually, I don't know much about this class. I don't take it. But pretty cool. And this 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 classroom is uh, marketing ed. Yeah, marketing ed. Right here. So just an ordinary classroom, I guess. And these two classrooms, A2 and A3, are family and consumer services. Also, you can call it home economics. So I guess this is where you would do learn. Um, home economics, that kind of stuff. I don't know much about the class, uh, but let me know in the comments what this class is all about because I want to know some facts. So yeah, electives is basically your are basically your class of choice, and this is where a lot of them take place, just in A wing. And to reorient you, um, we're now at the front of the school, so that's the front hallway, and all the way at the end is D wing. Okay, so now we head to the auditorium, which is the newest part of the building. It was built um, almost 20 years ago, not that recent, but uh, pretty new compared to the rest of the school. And as I was saying, um, there's like a curved glass design along the wall here. I think that's pretty neat. Another entrance to it. And here... Here is the auditorium itself, so it's pretty big. It has a thousand seats, so you can, I don't know, fit a thousand audiences um, to watch a concert or a play. I think that's pretty cool. And I also add lighting as well, and there's the control booth. You can check it out if you want. I'm not going to waste time showing it to you because I, I will have a download link in the description below. But here is this stage where they will do performances, so I think it's all cool. Alright, so that's one part of the school toured. Um, I'm going to cut ahead in the video uh, because I'm going to show you the other parts of the school, so see you in a little bit. Alright everybody, so I'm back with the tour. So we are now headed to E-Wing, which is just another part of the school. Um, but before we do, I actually want to show you a few things. So if you look to your left, um, you'll see the cafeteria, the auditorium, 
and the sign swing, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, along with E-Wing, and the um, outdoor eating area as well. And if you look to your right, um, you'll see the the second courtyard. Actually, it's the main courtyard of the school. Um, that's just E-Wing, and if you and over there is F-Wing, um, which I'll show you after I tour E-Wing. So without further ado, let's continue on with the tour. So again, E-Wing is just um, so this level. I don't, I don't really need to show you anything. It's just um, classrooms, ordinary classrooms. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary except, yeah, one of these classrooms you can get a nice view of the courtyard, and that's F-Wing, which I'll show you, again, which I said before, I'll show you after E-Wing, so there's that. But anyway, we're gonna just, we're just gonna go this way and then go downstairs, so yeah. So now we are on the sort of like ground floor, middle level of E-Wing. And this level, again, just some ordinary classrooms. Well, this side you have science classes. Again, I have brewing stands. And on this side, you have a mixture. But actually, no, I don't know if there's any full-scale science classes. Um, this this room is not a classroom. It's actually um, restorative practices. Um, it's basically um, for students who behave badly in the school. So I've seen instances where students being rude or doing bad things and they get punished. So, you know, it's it's a room for that. Discipline. Um, detention, I think. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, the rest of the this hallway. This hall this room I actually want to show you um, because this is the robotics club room. Um, so this is where I had robotics um, so yeah, I was building robots, um, but unfortunately school had to close um, because of COVID-19, so that's a bummer. This is also sort of like a science class, you have some sinks and um, a table on the side here. So yeah, I don't need to show you any more of the classrooms because, well, they're just classrooms, okay? We don't need to tour every single classroom in the school, that's just going to take hours. All right. So anyway, we're just gonna um, go here. So this is the science wing. Um, I'm calling it science wing because it's just all science classes. This is H wing. This is actually H wing slash science wing. So yeah. Um, these are just biology and chemistry labs. On this side, you have biology labs and chemistry labs. They're identical um, with how they look. So yeah, this is how each one of these science labs looks. So just like the other parts of the school. Um, I have brewing stands and a table where the teacher can sit at, so, you know, pretty cool. And the same thing for the biology lab. And yeah, so this, so this, this, so this is an exit that takes you to the back of the school, so these are the fields, which I'll go, go more in depth later. We'll go back in. So it's just one level of the, of H-Wing. We're gonna... I'm, I'm now going to show you um, basement of E-Wing and then show you F-Wing, so not much left, guys, not much left. Well, we still have a few things left to tour after this, but anyway. So yeah, this is the basement, um, nothing really special, we just have some classrooms which are below ground level, as you can see over there. Um, again, this side is just classrooms, this side you have storage rooms and a few offices. Um, this is the team locker room for the football players, so, yeah, I'm not going to go in there, guys. You can check all this out if you want, so, I'll have a download link in the description below if you want to see it. Um, so, yeah, so that's E-Wing, so that's the whole E-Wing tour, so we toured all of E-Wing, so we're just going to go back upstairs, and now I'm going to show you F-Wing, I'm um, just another part of the school where classes take place, so we're going to go down this large breezeway, and we're going to stop for a second, because over here is the courtyard, the main courtyard, and over there is the breezeway where I took, um, when I was taking you guys to E-Wing, and yeah, it's pretty high up, and over there is the gym. So this is F-Wing, um, again, just classrooms, just ordinary classrooms, as you can see, 
Over here is the student parking lot, so you can get a nice view if you were to be in one of these classrooms. Nice view of the parking lot. Over there is D-Wing and the cherry trees. Actually, um, in our school, we um, this school is actually on Chapel Avenue, and um, these trees over there are supposed to be cherry trees, which blossom every April or May, so it does create a beautiful scene um, in that place. So I really like when those cherry trees blossom. If you ever drive on Chapel Avenue, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's all the classrooms in F. We actually know. Um, there's there's another set of classrooms below us. So if you were to take, so this hallway would take you just to the intersection of D-Wing. And over there is E-Wing. Alright, we're going to go down the staircase if this door were to open. Um, sometimes doors don't open for some reason, but it's just the doors. It's just Minecraft. Um, before I take you this way, um, actually I'm not going to really go there, but um, this is just another way pathway or hallway you can go to E-Wing and yeah this is just another staircase where you can go to this to the intersection of D-Wing fastest way and this is the elevator where I was talking about earlier um, so we're actually below D-Wing now sort of in the basement um, and this area is just an empty space I didn't put anything in there it's bonus area do whatever you want in there I don't care really Again, these are just ordinary classrooms, so I just have desks and stuff in each one of them. So that's F-Wing. So this is F-Wing slash G-Wing. I don't know why they name it G-Wing, but um, G-Wing um, slash Jones Gym is the far right of the school. So this area is the Hall of Fame. So if I go here, um, this is how you would enter the school. A lot of students would enter to this entrance. And yeah, they will be greeted by this these trophy cases. There's like trophy cases on the wall here, and there's like trophies and awards that the school won. So it's quite a history to tell. So yeah, girls swim team, boys basketball, all that kind of stuff. I just put a few of them. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm not gonna take you to these offices. They're they're not that important. Um, so this leads you to the student parking lot. Again, that's D-Wing, that's F-Wing, and that's where we were before. Um, yeah, it's just a student parking lot. Okay, so now we are heading in the inside the gym. So this gym is the main gym of the school, and it's also pretty big. It's, it's quite large. Um, that's how a high school gym is supposed to be. But yeah, just like Walsh, I have basketball courts, bleachers, and lighting, so you can turn the lights on and off um, with this lever, um, and, I, and I use redstone. And with these bleachers, um, I'll show you what, I, what these bleachers can do. Watch. And ta-da! Look at this! You can, you can sit on the bleachers once you've extend them out and watch a game or some or something or just observe the huge gym you know and relax I guess you know pretty cool and I was able and I did it for all four bleachers so I have command blocks I have a set of a set of command blocks for all four of these bleachers so that's pretty cool so I think that's the whole entire gym described and oh yeah one more thing I want to show you about this gym so um, I've, I've put a roof redstone access rooftop access but this or access this area doesn't exist in real life so you just climb up a ladder and up here you just go through this little narrow hallway and yeah this so this there's like one block tall gap where you can see all the redstone and how the gym is lit up that kind of stuff pretty cool see it's a small gap so I just decided to show you that for a little bit and yeah, all this, this, these rooms, these two rooms, you can just go upstairs. I think, yeah, these rooms um, are actually storage areas um, for this school, some sort. Um, so that's the whole entire gym toured. Um, so I have a few other things to show you about this building. So below us are locker rooms and other rooms below us. I'm actually going to briefly show it to you, so we're going to go down this stairwell here 
to the basement. I'm not actually, I'm not actually gonna go inside the locker rooms, um, cause I don't really need to. Again, I'll have the download in the description so you can see it for yourself. This is the boys' locker room. Um, just some more rooms. This is like a storage room. And this is the girls' locker room on the other side. And it's basically the same thing as the boys' locker room, just reversed. Go down, go here. Um, here's the weight room. So this is where um, football players would go to lift weights. And there's like a large mirror on the wall. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and this room is the dance room. So this is where you can learn how to dance and stuff. And I put some floor mats and again, it's a mirror. I put a mirror on here. So guys, that's the whole actual building toured um, inside. So that's the whole school toured. Um, I still have a few other things to show you. Um, I just toured the school, the school itself. Um, um, what should I do? So yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you what's back there. So just give me a few seconds while I head. See, so yeah, this school is pretty massive. A lot of parts got added over time. Um, this is a baseball field, and you have some softball fields over here. Um, over here is American Legion Post 372. I don't really know what to put. I didn't really know what to put in there, so I just left it as an empty space. You know, you can do whatever you want, really, in here. doesn't matter. Um, over there is the tennis court, the West Tennis Court. This is where people will play tennis. And over here is like a playground right next to it. And this area um, is an unpaved parking lot for, for some students. Um, yeah, I, I just decided to use gravel um, because it's unpaved. And I guess I'm pretty sure gravel is the best um, material to use if you want to build unpaved parking lots in real life. So, yeah, my render distance. And guys, I have a render distance of 32 chunks. Um, here and the school is getting out of view already see so, yeah, this is so yeah this football field is pretty far it's quite a fly or walk from the school um, but this football field is has turf grass in it um, I remember a few years ago they replaced the old um, regular grass which was all which got all muddy with this nice permanent turf grass so that's pretty cool over here at the home bleachers and the home stand where you can view the games. Over here in the touchdown areas. And that's the guests bleachers, so it's a lot smaller. Here are just some soccer fields and some forests back here, like a like woods. There's like woods um, behind us in real life. And this is just another storage house, I guess. I'm not really sure what this place is used for, so I just left it empty. Um so you know so anyway guys this is the entire school build school map toured um, again I'll have the download link in the description below so hopefully you enjoy the tour make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you later bye